Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about uh, NAT gateways. In the previous session, we have discussed the uh, NAT instance. Now we will create a NAT gateway and uh, we will see the differences between NAT gateway and uh, NAT instance. And uh, the main motto is uh, to provide internet access uh, which are hosted on the private uh, subnets. So basically, whatever the hosted uh, hosted on EC2 instances on the private subnet, it doesn't have an in internet access. So we will provide uh, internet uh, to the private uh, subnet which are hosted on uh, private subnet. So if I wanted to update any packages or uh, any IPs, any if I download some dependencies, we need uh, internet access, right? So that's the reason we will create a NAT instance on a public uh, subnet. NAT instance and uh, NAT gateways both are in uh, sits on public subnet. Uh, through that, uh, we will provide the internet access. But main thing is NAT gateways are uh, managed by the AWS. So when it comes to the NAT instance, you are uh, maintain uh, depends on uh, memory cpu you just need to maintain you just need to update all the things but when it comes to the nat instance it is managed by the aws it is highly available and highly scalable so let's get into the demo let's create a vpc so my vpc name i'm giving demo nat gateway and The IP range I am giving 10.200.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
just reloading this now two route tables are created successfully now we will create internet gateway create internet gateway net gateway demo internet gateway ig i am giving ig so just create and attach to the vpc attach vpc and uh, attaching the vpc now if you see if you go to the route tables the both route tables should be associated with uh, main route table uh, main routes associated if you observe it is associated with both the main route table it is a main routes it is associated with public subnets and private subnet now go to the route table add routes edit routes and the pub the main route table we have associated with internet gateway all traffic now let's create one more route table we will uh, create one more route table sorry not routes route table create route table and we can make it as private route table net gateway and uh, this is attached to the vpc the created route table and we need to do subnet association edit subnet association this we have to attach it to the private uh, subnet gateway save changes now we will create a nat gateway create nat gateway demo nat gateway and uh, it sits on nat sits on public subnet public subnet nat gateway and uh, we need uh, elastic ip allocate elastic ip it is static ip elastic ip means it is static and create nat gateway and this ga nat gateway we have attached to the associated to the public uh, go to route tables and um, edit private route tables add routes edit routes here uh, we can select nat gateway all traffic save changes okay to that are the changes we need to make now we need to create two ec2 instances to test this demo launch ec2 instance i can make it ec2 public and i am going with the default instances key pair and here we need to select uh, our vpc and uh, here public subnet and i need enable to public ip because it is sitting on that one now i am going with uh, default only launch instance
let me create one more EC2 instance EC2 private key pair if you need to select you can select and uh, networking here we need to select uh, our VPC and private subnet and I don't want uh, public IP for that server so I'm disabling and uh, I'm going with the default security groups you are If you observe EC2 public instance, we have public IP. Whereas this EC2 instance that doesn't have public IP because we have launched on private subnet. Now let's connect to the public subnet. to iPhone user now you are in public subnet you have internet access to test this one sudo m update iPhone y so packages are updating are downloading it is required packages everything now from this instance you need to log in you need to connect into the private subnet on EC2 instance so now take this we are into same VPC you just need to take private IP of uh, EC2 instance of private which is hosted on private subnet now you just need to do SHS EC2 iPhone user and the IP address see now you are into the private subnet if you want to update uh, the packages on this mission you just need to do same we have provided internet access to the private subnet which is hosted on uh, private subnet on EC2 instance So if you wanted to ping google.com or facebook.com uh, you can able to get the response as well. See if you ping google.com so you are getting the response and this is the NAT demo NAT gateway. So in the previous session we have discussed the NAT instance. The main thing is uh, NAT instance you have to manage NAT instance where it comes to the NAT gateway it is managed by the AWS and it is a chargeable it depends on uh, uh, how much usage you have used if you see the differences between NAT gateway and NAT instance the av highly available NAT gateway and uh, NAT instances uh, use a script to manage the uh, flavor between the instances uh, the recommendation is uh, highly available NAT gateways in each availability zones are implemented with the uh, a redundancy and bandwidth also scale up to 100 GB GBS and depends on bandwidth of the instance and maintenance so managed by the AWS managed by you for example if you are installing software updates or operating system on the instances you have to manage everything the performance also the software is optimized for handling the NAT traffic it's generic configured as per the NAT instance and cost also 
the charge depends on the number of NAT gateways you use okay so it is chargeable and charge depending on the number of uh, NAT instances that you use duration of usage and instance type and size and type and size uh, so if you see you are able to see the differences uh, in this official document and public IP so choose to elastic IP associated with the public NAT gateway that are created and private IP security groups and uh, NAC else okay so once you are uh, creating the NAT gateway I suggested to delete a NAT gateway and it is chargeable so, okay so if you like the video uh, please share and subscribe thanks for watching bye